Firefighting efforts continue well into a 12th hour at a tire recycling plant on Jacksonville's north side. They expect to be at the site for days. Appreciate you joining us. We will hear from Jack's Fire Rescue Chief Keith Powers in just a minute. Here's a look at what we know so far. The fire continues to burn at the plant along Main Street near I-295. This was the scene about midnight at Atlantic Can Inc. There are about three to four acres of tires that are burning. No fire hydrants nearby. They actually had to drain water from a nearby lake in an apartment complex nearby. A neighbor tells us what the scene is like. Describe to me what that fire looked like. It was a little scary at first. It was large and I thought it was a little odd to see a burn not in rural area, but in the city. And then within 10, 20 minutes to times five in size, it was scary. The fireballs were flying up in the air. Something was feeding it. It was not going away anytime soon. It just kept getting bigger and bigger. And one of the problems with a fire like this is that it can continue to burn even when it looks like it's out on the outside of the fire. The rubber underneath can continue to burn. Here's Chief Powers. You ready? Well, good afternoon. Um, as you can see behind me, we've got a pretty big rubbish pile fire and the rubbish pile is, is consistent of ground up tires. Um, it's rubber that's burning. Uh, the wind is drifting to the north of us. We have got uh, air quality monitoring crews that are stationed on the north side of 295 up there that are monitoring the air, the air quality. We have not found anything up there that's of any concern to us. We got some up there around the elementary school and all that just to make sure that everybody's uh, you know safe. Currently, we got about 30 units that are on scene, about 75 personnel, and that's going to continue for a while. The, the problem with this is the pile is so big and so thick that the, and the fires burn down into the pile that we've got to get down to it. So we have brought in our heavy equipment team, and they're now in there working with heavy equipment to start dismantling this pile. As we dismantle it, they'll begin to spray water on it and cool it down, and hopefully in a matter of you know three or four or five hours we'll start to make a dent in some of this but this could go on for multiple hours beyond where we're at right now you know we've got multiple partners that are helping us with this uh forestry has sent a bulldozer out to us to help help in the in the dismantling of the pile our public works department has sent multiple pieces of heavy equipment out for our heavy equipment team to run inside there um, and then our partners at JEA, they're always wonderful, but you know, they've turned the, uh, the water pressure up for us in here. We had some water pressure issues to start with, but now we're in a good place. So with that, I'll take any questions. I know you guys mentioned earlier the possible use of using foam to tackle this. Um, what does that look like now? Yeah, we haven't started using any foam yet. Um, we're kind of waiting to, as we dismantle that pile and we put it into layers, and then we may take some of that Class A foam, which is a wetting agent, which will help us wet that down, and then we'll put another layer and wet it down and so forth. But we haven't started using foam yet. And if that is the case, is that something that creates a toxic smoke? Um, it, no, it doesn't create a toxic smoke. And, and out of an abundance of caution, we've got um, the Department of Environmental Protection out here uh, that's monitoring the, the runoff from this scene and all that. So we're trying to be environmentally responsible as we do it, but we have not started using foam yet. No, sir. We haven't even been able to get up into the pile yet. It's it's still uh, it's you know still hot and burning, and obviously that smoke's toxic. And we're trying to keep our folks out of it as best we can, even in the gear that they wear. Yeah, it's about, I think it's about 200 by 300 or so feet. Um, and at one point, the owner was telling me that it was about 30 foot tall. Obviously, it's burnt down some now, but um, it was, it's a pretty big pile of rubber. So what do they do? They knock that out on the top and then try to remove what's up there and keep going? That's correct. We'll just, we'll just start delayering that pile with the heavy equipment, spread it out over a big surface area, wet it down, then put another layer, wet it down, put another layer, wet it down. that right now you're in a, in a good place. Obviously, like I said, we've got air, air quality monitoring devices scattered all around. We kind of follow where the plume goes. And if we have any concerns whatsoever, we would uh, start moving people or, or ask them to shelter in place. But we're just not at that point. Chief Powers, how are your guys' crews doing? I mean, you guys have been working since midnight. This is 12 hours later. So uh, we have been rotating crews out. Obviously, at this morning at 8 o'clock is when we do shift change. We made shift change, so today's shift came on this morning, so those crews are fresh. 
Um, and then we'll start probably doing it every six hour rotation, rotate crews out, bring fresh crews in until we get a handle on it. Is the water situation okay? Do you have what you need? Absolutely we do. Yeah. We, uh, we just had to get a couple other supply lines in here and then ask JEA to bump the pressure up for us, which they did. That, that's actually one of our engines that's, su that's supplying a water supply into the fire. We just had to get one of these hydrants in this complex. Okay. Thank you. All. Thank you. All. Fire Chief Powers talking about the challenges in fighting that fire. They seem to have it under control. Basically, what he says is they're going to layer the tires and try and tamp it down at this point. Not worried about any toxic smoke from the fire at this situation. And there are no reports of any evacuations needing to take place. Keep you posted on air and online.